Hey folks, it's John with the Blood Angels Commander channel. So today what I've done is we've picked up two uh, of the Space Marine Heroes. So these are Terminators and they're custom Terminators. The two that we have are um, Brother Diariel, hope I'm saying that right, and Brother Falio, I guess. Um, and this is how they will potentially look but we don't want to go with that as always um, on this channel we're going to do some customizations what I'd like to do is have chain fists because I feel like in 9th edition chain fists may actually be viable um, especially in turn 3 when they're minus 5 AP for blood angels so I mean pretty much nothing and less invulnerable saves are going to be any use against them so and the flat 2 damage as well I kind of like that so what we're going to do is we're going to try and make two guys um, and then see where we're at. Okay, so we're going to start with Brother Dario. Um, um, and let me grab the instructions for him. Should be fairly basic assembly. Um, and this guy has this cool little uh, servo drone thing with him. Um, I'm not sure we're necessarily going to say much about it but uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a new captain so I have my old Terminator captain that I made years ago years and years ago because the, I did apparently I didn't even spray the base so uh, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of unmasked heads as well I think when we get to this guy at the end of the video I'm going to try and get his head off um, but yeah wait and see <laughs> How that goes. So, because this has a new fancy base that he sits in, I feel like he's going to look a bit different from the other ones. So, as such, he's going to be the new captain. Um, and then, I guess, having this crazy weird servo arm will sort of make him stand out a bit. Um, fortunately, that those old guys don't even they haven't even been glued together. Um, and then for his helmet. I won I'm wondering if there's something custom we can do. Uh, I'm wondering at what point the helmet gets put on as well. Uh, I think I think in this they would see yeah the look the helmet has like a, an attachment to it so it would like slot in. So potentially what we what we'll do is we'll clean them up, we'll get them in the base. And then we'll decide. So in all my videos you'll always see me clean off anywhere we've cut stuff off sprues. Um, just I use a really old kitchen devil but um, you can use a modelling knife or whatever whatever you have. Um, I know that you can... I just think it makes everything a bit crisper and cleaner. I kind of hate seeing these on models. So this will be a very quick assembly because um, it's, it's almost I think it's supposed to be push fit essentially but we'll use a little bit of glue and I'm trying to even find where where he came off the sprue I mean I guess because they're like quick assembly the sprues are like crazy delicate maybe um, and I was kind of confused by these being in red plastic like is it just in red plastic because you collect them in red plastic or you kind of because most people spray a different colour like I don't think you can put paint straight on them I think you still need to spray them so not sure why they're in red I mean I guess for new players that are maybe not going to paint and just want to have models on the board so um, yeah, we're going to put a little bit round of glue around all the joints just because this glue is really good at melting plastic hopefully it will mean that the joints won't be so noticeable. And yeah, you should just be push fit. It should be as simple as that. I say it should be simple. Yeah, fairly simple. Um, I do not have some I always like having a little bit of kitchen roll with these guys just to get rid of any excess glue that seeps out that we don't need. And I'm going to go straight ahead and put them onto this base. Again, it, yeah, that's like 
super easy push fit so we'll just use a little bit of glue on the joints Okay, so super quick, super easy. Um, next uh, would be let's do his servo arm thing. Um, right, so there's two attachments, two bits to clip at the bottom. Clean that up real quick, and there was one connection at the top here. And then, how which way does this fit in? Does it fit in a specific way? Yeah, okay. I mean, this is I don't know if this adds much too much to the model. Um, I mean, I guess it's enough to distinct him from the other Terminators, so you could easily quickly see that he's the captain. But I mean, you could probably quickly see he's the captain just because he, um, you'll have the captain weapons, obviously. Uh, there's a little bit of glue that got stuck there. I think some of that didn't actually need glue on it, but oh well, I put it on anyway. Right. So, weapon wise, I really want this guy to have be the captain, so as such he would have a sword. Um, this is a sword arm from another Terminator. It's not going to go into the hole obviously, it's a different size. And it's actually got one of these little bits still on there, so I really hate that. So I'm actually going to have to repaint that a little bit, but that's fine. I'd rather it, it didn't have a snip line on it. So. I'm not sure I necessarily want to respray the whole arm again. Um, so probably what I'll do is take off the paint on the, around the joint there. I mean, there's no re there's no real reason it needed to be painted in there, but I guess it did. It got painted in there. So just taking out the paint will make it e much easier for it to be glued in the future. And I think what we'll do is we'll actually leave that on there so that when we snip it off, there's a good connection. And we'll get that sword arm on there. So, he's a captain, so he will have a storm bolter. So let's just take the storm bolter that um, he came with. I was actually considering in that I have hurricane bolter here. It looks kind of bigger. Um, and it could be kind of cool to be to be different. I wonder if I guess the question would be does a Terminator shoulder pad fit over that arm? And the answer is that it's super close. So if I did want to give him a custom arm, it's a slightly longer arm. It might look weird if it's slightly longer, I guess. It's a pity because the hurricane bolter might have been quite cool. Yeah, do you know what? Because I've still got the shields for the Hurricane Bolter as well. We really want this guy to stand out as like the captain of the Assault Squad. Or, he's not an Assault Squad, but just captain of the Terminator Squad. So, as such, yeah, I think... I think we're going to put this... We're going to try and put this Hurricane Bolter on. See what happens. Alright, if it doesn't look good... I mean, I guess it doesn't look good and we'll, we'll roll back to... Uh, Terminator arm, but we're going to take one of those hurricane bolters 
Oh shit, do, do different ones. Do different sides, yeah. I think we need this one. I'm glad I saw that before I snipped that off. Well, snipped it off fully, I guess. Um, and then we would need the shield. So I bought a squad of intercessors and made them plasma intercessors, and they have. I've actually customized them in that they have sang. They're going to be like sangre guard colors. I'll show you them as well in another video. Like um, you really want to, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you really want to subscribe because we sort of love just making little nuances on um, on the various. Blood Angels, Commanders, Units. I think it's one. Of, I think it's one of the most customizable chapters, really, because you kind of have three color schemes within the chapter, in that you've got your regular guys, you've got your Death Company guys, and then you've got your Sanguinary Guards as well. So um, you kind of have almost three color schemes, and you can do it. You know, the rules are the rules. I mean, I play with uh, people that are in different colours just cause um, you know why not if you think it looks cool then go for it you know don't let don't let the rules hold you back the rules change all the time so um, maybe you know I've done a I've done a few models that maybe aren't viable in the rules but yeah maybe in six months a year's time the rules will change again and they will be viable or they will be allowed so Here's the hurricane bolt arm. Let's stick this together real quick. Uh, put a glue in here. I don't have the instructions for this in front of me, so hopefully we don't make a mistake. So where does the shield go on? Does it just fit on the front there? Is it up? Is that upside down? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like it's supposed to go there. Does that look great? Right? I would have thought maybe the shield would have been up the other way. But then if the shield's up the other way, can you still see? I'm going to go get one of these intercessors. Hang with me. Alright, I've actually been using one of these intercessors to make some sort of custom guy with a heavy bolter for a, for a tank. Like, I snipped this guy's legs off and he's a Primaris Marine. So he was going to go on... He's actually going to go on my Falchion because it has a twin heavy bolter that normally is in the rules but it's not on the... the the vehicle so yeah actually I've already put a Terminator shoulder pad on this guy and that's over the top of this arm so if I'd remembered that that would have been great but nonetheless that means the shield goes on underneath um, I'm not entirely sure where you put the glue to get that to sit nicely underneath but we'll just try and put a little bit there and see what happens Yeah, I mean, I think these are very delicate. I think that's on that one. I think there's a tiny bit that's squint, but it is what it is, I guess. And then a tiny bit of glue on both these. Okay, that's that's difficult. Keep sticking to my hand. That's always fun. So it's, it's really only got the contact point here. Try to get that off my finger. Alright, so Hurricane Bolt. Oh! Fuck! Sorry, Hurricane Bowler. Somehow that didn't all ping apart. 
Brilliant. I guess that's the advantage of them using plastic now in the days of metal models. That would have been destroyed. Okay, so we've got a Hurricane Bolter. We've got the sword arm. Um, they have you in the in the rule, the rules in the guide. They just have you stick the Hurricane Bolter together, and then you stick the Power Fist arm together. Well, we're not doing that because he's going to be a captain, and that's it, right? Like once you've put a head on, and for heads you've got a naked head or a Terminator head. But if you watch any of my videos, you'll know that heads are. Honestly, they're my speciality. We always do something custom with the heads. Um, and let's see what shoulder pad we could put onto this Hurricane Bolter arm. I have a Terminator shoulder pad here that's been sprayed white. Um, I mean, these are ancient models. I have not sprayed on the sprues since I came back to the hobby. So this is this is this is an ancient, ancient, ancient shoulder pad. Um, this was probably bought around 4th edition. I mean when you clip them off the sp sprues when you've sprayed them you get this hulking mark on them so they're no, they're no use anyway so you kind of need to respray them. Um, right, I mean the shoulder pad fits on just and if it was going to go on his arm I think it would look suitably badass. Uh, so we're going to snip this bit off here, we'll tidy that up, we will make an indent slash get rid of some of this white paint on the inside of the shoulder pad here just because we'll try and get rid of quite a lot of it actually. So I'm just using the, the point of the knife almost to get rid of it so that when we put some glue in here it can actually get a decent stick especially because we don't know entirely where the contact point is for this shoulder pad because it's not it's not 100% right it's like it's the it's possibly the wrong size shoulder pad for the guy um, and then we'll put quite a bit of glue on this joint Again, because it's not the right guy or the right joint. And see if we can get it to sit nicely. Shit buckets. I don't know if the red plastic doesn't glue as well or what, but right now I'm not getting much. We're getting there though. Okay, yeah, this guy is not messing around. That's pretty cool. I think I think that's going to look really I mean Part of me we want to stay, it's a bit ridiculous. Um but the other I mean, where's a storm bolt arm? Do I have one through here? Yeah, yeah. So we can compare it. I mean it's not hugely different. It's different, but not hugely. Yeah, I'm pleased with that, right? I mean that's why I bought these marines to try and make my Terminator squad a little bit unique. Um Right, so we have his shoulder pad on, so now we really need to figure out his helmet. Um, I did see with the Inceptors we have this really cool like shield helmet thing, and I definitely used it on one of the Inceptors, like I guess because you maybe get two in the box. So I don't know who else would be wearing this shield, but a Terminator Captain who's an ultimate badass might be wearing it I guess. So let's let me see if I, if I clean this shield if it's an op like I'm not sure it'll be an option but let me see if it is an option. So 
So the shield is a bit too big. Uh, but I'm, I mean, I'm really tempted to try and file some of it away. Maybe just the top bit and have it sit in there. I know that the shield head, that shield sits on a custom Primaris head, I believe. So let me take off one of these heads and let's have a look. not that head it's supposed to sit on or maybe it's not supposed to sit on a head period I want to get rid of this uh, thing coming through the back of the model I wish I'd snipped it before I assembled them but we'll take it off now Yeah, I mean, if you can't ever get to something, sometimes if you just chop it in half, it'll break in half. Yeah, okay, so we got rid of the the thing coming through the back, and then this is quite a big custom Primaris head. Again, it's too big, but I wonder if we snipped off the bottom of it, would it fit in? I'm not sure I want this head in there though. Um, I kind of like the, the idea of the shield, but the shield just doesn't quite fit. Right, if you know me and you know my videos then I have a bag of heads. So we're going to go to the bag of heads and we'll see if there's an option. Alright, so bag of heads. Apparently there's a bolter arm in here as well, but still, um, because it's I was going to say because it's got this sort of roof to it, we're limited by the amount of space that we have. Um, Here's one that the bottom's already been snipped off of, so this is just a regular Primaris head with the bottom snipped off. So, I guess that if we do snip the bottom off, we can definitely put some sort of Primaris head in there. We probably maybe just need to take the back of the helmet off as well, because the recess isn't that deep. So, we could put a Primaris head in it. I mean, in some ways that might be quite cool. Got this interesting Psyker head that I haven't. That was on a Primaris Psyker. He's got sort of. Do you know what? Maybe I'll. I need to make a Terminator Psyker anyway at some point. So maybe that would be. Maybe that would be perfect for that. Could we go old school and put a beak head in there? I mean, we could. You know, since the Primaris head already has the bottom taken off of it, let's take the back of this one off and see what happens. Don't know how much I'll need to take off, but we'll start with just that. Maybe take a tiny bit more off. I'll take off, I'll try and scrape some off with my knife because it's like the tiniest amount that I'm wanting to get rid of.
I want to get rid of a tiny bit more, I think. I mean, it seems strange anyway, right? Terminators were the lore used to be that for a thousand years the Terminator armor was the best armor in the in the galaxy and it was like such an honor to wear it and stuff and then the Primaris Marines rock up and it's like um, Games Workshop have kind of just completely ignored Terminators but do you know what we do not ignore Terminators I am convinced that I think I can make a squad of them work in my ninth army list if you check out the channel we'll be doing uh, videos about 9th edition, army lists, um, comparisons, stuff like that. So yeah, I think I think this helmet... I mean, I, I can't quite get deep enough into the recess that I wanted. Don't drop it on the floor like the gun, John. So I'm just trying to file off, I guess I'm trying to make it like a rounded curve on the back so that you'll f the helmet will fit nicely into that hole. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be perfect, but I think we're going to go for it. Yeah, I think it's going to work. So he's going to be looking down his gun arm. I mean, he's going to definitely look different, right? That's what we were going for. So, all you would need now is essentially this arm, which we're going to put on after spraying. Uh, just make a little bit of space here for a second. Right, I'm probably going to just give the other Terminator like a default head, like I'm not sure we're doing too much conversion there. Um, but what we're going to do for this guy is if he is the captain then he needs to have something else. And the thing that I thought would be pretty cool was a banner. Um, again this is a really old, I think this is a 4th edition box of Terminators but like at this point probably like 12 or 13 years ago so this banner looks like it's something it can have on top of it so I think we've got options this one I haven't seen before and um, so we'll take that as well and we'll try and get some of this white paint off because otherwise it won't stick and we'll need to do that at the top and the bottom bit harder to get to here at the top. Basically what I'll just do is score the surface then so the glue will permeate the and hopefully stick it all nicely together. So banner we'll try and put it top middle. I'm just eyeballing this. I think actually it needs, because that's a curved surface, I think it should actually be at the very, very top middle.
Right. Okay then, so we have a banner. I'm going to try and straighten that up a little bit. You know, I said this a few times on the channel, my friend Andrew always says that I tend to model for disadvantage. Well, I mean, these guys are going to be in uh, Land Raider probably, and they'll just pop out the Land Raider, shoot and charge, so it doesn't really matter if they... Um, doesn't really matter if they've got a big banner over the top of them or something. Trying to get that to set uh, straight up and down is tricky. I don't know if the captain had a flat bit. Oh, he did have a flat bit on his on his armor plate, I guess. Right in there, there's a flat bit for something. So, I guess I've made this a little bit more tricky than it possibly needed to be. Uh, but I think we'll get. I think we'll. I think we'll manage to get it set. I think it looks straight now. That is so tricky. Um, I mean, I could pin it. Do you know what, I think we're just going to try and let it dry. Okay, and while he's drying over there, um, then my captain has now been relegated to just a normal guy with a chain fist, because like I said, I think chain fists will work in 9th edition. Or I hope I can make some chain fists work in my army in 9th edition, I think is a better way of, of putting it. So again, these guys have been, or these arms have been coated. So, just score off enough of the paint that we can get a contact. Well, that's a head that should go back in the bag of heads. and then chop off this arm or chop off this bit of an arm and then score it okay And then a shoulder pad. My choice of shoulder pads is... Oh, I have one Blood Angels one. Do you know what? I got some really cool Blood Angel shoulder pads from Forge World for Terminators, but then it seems like they don't do them anymore. Um, I feel like the shoulder pad should be on the left arm as well, uh, the Blood Angels one, because you would usually put like a squad marking or something on the right arm. So um, in that case, then this guy can this guy can get this Blood Angel shoulder pad. Or do I want it for the the other guy we're building? Um, I 
No, I think I want it on this guy. There we go. Quickly fix Blood Angels shoulder and then yeah this head is a doozy because I, I typically don't like unmasked heads. I don't know why I don't like them so much. Uh, I just maybe think in the 40k universe people would be wearing heads helmets with gunshots and shit going off all over the place. Um, yeah, I'm just going to try and snip the head right off. We'll see how it goes. It could go badly. Alright. It hasn't gone well in that the first two cuts haven't shifted it, so God knows what's how it's stuck in there. Oh, the whole front bit came off. Oh, and it's actually the whole front bit. Interesting. I didn't realise that whole front bit was a... Uh, was, I didn't realise the head and everything was just attached. Okay, well... have another front bit here on a sprue from ages ago like I said okay so <laughs> he's in bits now but this other front bit does look like it will go in, so put down some glue here and try and take off a bit of the. This is why you should never spray on sprues, it's, you just end up trying to get all the damn paint off of it again when you're doing something like this. Um, right, so new front bit goes in. I think that might have been a front bit for the cyclone missile launcher, you know, because there's like two cables, I think, that's what those are coming out the top. So I'm just going to take them off because I've put the cyclone on somebody else. Um, and then, I think it'll look okay. I've got glue in my fingers. We'll put some glue back on this arm. And then we'll put in, try and just put this Terminator shoulder pad, Terminator head in that came with the brother Dariel there. Okay, so fortunately that guy has been saved. Uh, and you can see that his head was just absolutely decimated. So yeah, I think we're going to leave that there for the moment. I need to get these sprayed and then I need to get this arm attached. So, Okay, so I think what we're going to do now is put these guys to the side. And we'll be spraying this guy and the extra helmet. Get it attached. It didn't have a very good contact in there so we've taken it out. And now we're going to go look at... Um, Brother Phileo, he's going to get an assault cannon instead and a chain fist because, yeah, like I said, we're going to try squad with all chain fists, apart from the captain because he needs to have the power sword. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully this is going to look pretty cool and um, the standard seems like it's gone on okay. But yeah, I mean, this was me 10 years ago spraying in, um, spraying in the sprue. Yeah, generally don't do it. Just just a bad idea it seems like and uh, yeah it just ends up making more work for you especially if you change your mind later so all right brother Dari Dariel is done let's make a start on um, 
Brother Phileo. Okay, so we're going to look at Brother Phileo now, and we're going to make sure that he is a badass and can carry an assault cannon. Um, we're probably not going to need much off this sprue again, so I guess in this case, um, along with this case, we have some additional, like we've got an additional Stormbolter arm, Power Fist, I mean I guess uh, lots of options. Um, but I think we will use his Terminator head this time. Uh, because he's not, he's just gonna, he just needs to look badass and have an assault cannon. So again, these guys are super easy to clean the Space Marine series, like the, the moulds on them are, I guess they're great, like there's barely anything to snip off, like the joints are so small. Um, uh, yeah, so let me just grab instructions. So instructions should be pretty simple, it's literally push them together, push them into the base, and then at that point you're almost done. Right, incorrectly glued up the top on the other ones, so we won't bother putting any glue up there. And as I say, just push them together, get the base. Oh, get my little bit of kitchen roll. There's some extra glue there in the joints. I mean, I guess they're always going to be a little bit. Uh, we'll just put a little bit around each foot. Push them in. Again, there's probably going to be a little bit of glue. Like the tiniest amount. I mean, these models are great, actually. Do you know, I was criticising the Easy Build and the Indominus set the other night because you want to do some customization, but I guess because these guys are already like Blood Angels, so to speak. I mean, are they Blood Angels, though? I don't actually know if they have much on them that defines them as a Blood Angel. Uh, I'm just going to straight away, I'm going to glue in the Terminator head, I don't have any quabs about doing this, I want him to have a Terminator head. Okay, so his, help, his, his arm, his head looks at, to the right at an angle a bit, um, so I'm guessing that's because this, his arm, but we're going to, we're definitely going to put on this assault kind of arm instead, um, and I think I've got quite a cool sort of, um, don't know if this, I can't really read it, I think it says Imperial, I don't know, I don't know what it says, so we've got that, and we've got the sort of standard, um, got a shoulder pad with nothing on it, or I've got a shoulder pad with sort of the standard Terminator skull thing, so I think we'll use this additional one just so it stands out. I think if we put the salt cannon on, um, it'll be quite cool. It'll be different anyway. Uh, so yeah, so that salt cannon doesn't need sprayed, we're going to stick that on after. And we were going to put a chain fist on this guy as well, so actually there's nothing doing with the chain fist, right? Like, um, we'll put on a chain fist and uh, this one doesn't come with any shoulder pad. This one did come with a shoulder pad, and I've got some white sprayed shoulder pads here as well, but uh, we'll use a red sprayed one just because we've got them here. Um, but I think maybe while, while I'm out spraying, I'll spray this shoulder pad here. Um, just so that we have another sprayed white shoulder pad. I wonder as well, we could put on a little decal on his head or back or give him some grenades or give him additional purity seal um, or we could give him a little, one of those little shield arm maybe we'll give him a little shield uh, but we'll put that I was going to say I was going to put it on after spray the problem is the arms, right, because those arms are already sprayed. Um, 
so I'm kind of a little stuck on what to do because I probably wouldn't stick the shield on until you've got the arm on so you know exactly where the yeah I mean I guess like I said don't spray stuff in sub assemblies if you don't know what you're doing because inevitably you try and you're going to try and make something and then you're going to get stuck because you've got stuff that's sprayed so um, yeah we will I guess what we'll do is we'll go and spray these two guys and then we'll finish off um, making them. We'll also need to spray that one additional shoulder pad I snipped off which is here the shoulder pad's got a thing inside it which I'm just going to get rid of as well I think because um, we're not going to be using it on this model so if it's going to be used on another model that'll just be a pain so we're going to spray that shoulder pad and we're also going to spray this Terminator helm from last night too so let's go spray these guys and then uh, let's see let's see how they go Okay, so we've given them a quick spray, um, just with Corax White, that tends to be what I spray everything in, uh, or at least everything that's going to be red gets sprayed in Corax White, with a bit of gunk there or something, maybe a bit of dust from outside, I don't know. Um, so yeah, this guy is quite unique now, with his big ass bolter and let's hope he does well on the battlefield, and then obviously we're looking at this guy as well, so now that we've got them sprayed where we want them, We'll quickly do the conversions. So we'll take this arm slot off and clean out this a little bit. And clean under here a bit as well. As I say, these guys I think are from about fourth edition, so I've had these guys for sitting around for a good 10 years probably. I mean I think I got them not long before I moved out of the flat that I was in and I'm like we're all playing 4th edition at that point and then never really got back into it. So um, yeah we're gonna hopefully put this gun on. I think he's gonna be, I think we're gonna try him holding the gun up the way a bit. Down the way it'll cover a lot of things that I want or it'll make painting difficult, that's for sure. It's still going to make some bits difficult, but I feel like up the way is definitely going to be the winning combination here. So quite a lot of glue, because we've got quite a lot of paint there. And see if we can't stick this. Yeah, this red plastic, I guess it's push fit, but without the push fit, it takes a while to stick. I don't know if there's anything different with it. Okay, while that's setting, we'll leave him. We'll look at this other head that was going to go in here. And... I'm going to try and take off the paint around the back. Seems counterproductive in that we literally just sprayed this guy, but we need it to. We need somewhere for it to stick to the the, the head, to the the body, I guess. And when I put this head in last night, it really didn't stick. So it's a question of where where it's actually touching. I think some of the best contact point is going to be underneath like because it's going to lie a bit in that recess. I didn't put any glue here last night so I'm definitely going to put some glue there this time. So there's quite a lot of glue in there but it's all going to be hidden hopefully. I'm going to dab off the extra glue that I ended up with coming out I got a little bit on his Aquila and I guess a little bit yeah this guy's been kind of a nightmare in that 
not pleased with them right now, but I think um, I think when we get some paint over, I think when we get a coat of paint over them, you might, you should look okay. And I think there's enough of the undercoat to for them to stick okay. So uh, yeah, so our big guy, we had a chain fist on him. Oh no, we didn't want a chain fist on him. That's going on to the sergeant. So this guy's chain fist. Yep. Yeah, so the sergeant was going to get a sword. Um, so we're going to take off this arm, and again we'll clean it a bit. Just hopefully enough paint off there, and then yeah, we did clean inside here a bit as well. So yeah, we're going to put quite a bit of glue in here. If there's um, any spillage, we'll get rid of it with our paper towel again. Oh shit. And I think this will actually look quite good um, glued at sort of right angles or the sword at right angles. So yeah, I think I think it will look quite good at it. I think it's it's kind of a neat model actually with this little servo thing as well and the banner and the Primaris helmet. Uh, yeah, this will be the thumbnail, this guy with his one red arm. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's fine, <laughs> we'll fix it and uh, I'll do a guide on how we're painting this guy as well. Um, but yeah, so he is super, I mean that's what I wanted, right, a unique looking commander for the Terminator squad. The fact that their Games Workshop are haven't given Terminators any love. Like I really feel like Terminators either need an additional wound or an additional toughness. I mean, the toughness to me seems like it would make sense and that they're supposed to be in the finest armor ever, but an additional wound would probably be okay as well. Um, so I'm not asking for anything major, just something. I mean, I think they're a little bit overpointed at the moment, but I am determined to make them work in my uh, 9th edition army list. And then we'll go back to this guy and we will take off his other arm. That first arm isn't quite stuck yet. Uh, so I guess what we'll try and do is not make too many waves, I guess. Uh, and then we will take off some of the paint under here so we can get the shoulder pad stuck on nicely. Will we use this white shoulder pad? We'll use one of the previously painted red ones. Um, do you know, just because I'm going to be um, having to do base colours and all that again on these models, we'll just use a white one and save one of the red ones. Honestly, don't know what I'm saving it for, but I'm do it's going to be like the zero extra work to do some base colouring with this. So, uh, and then we'll we'll take off the paint in the joint here. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm jumping the gun there. Okay, chain fist arm is on. I'm trying to just position it to make some of it easier to paint if possible. And then I've got this, I've got a couple of these shields. I think I'm going to stick a shield onto this guy. 
No. Sure. It would just be sticking to the bottom corner of that. So you can gently take a little bit of the paint off here. Apparently I can't. And then we'll take a tiny bit of the paint off on the back side of this shield thing. Yeah, this is why I don't really advise, you know, I guess, I think that you're better off, like you've seen my other videos where I have the magnifying glass, I think you're better off investing in something like a magnifying glass and just not worrying about sub-assemblies or sub-painting and all that. And then he can get his shield there. So I guess what we've got now is almost half the squad. I've got two chain swords. I've got let me get this right, I've got two chain fists coming from eBay, so we'll be able to finish up the squad. And um Yeah, probably what I'll do is actually get one more chain fist. So I've got because this these two guys essentially bump bulk out the squad. Now I've got some options in that like I've got um I've got the option to take with the salt cannon. I've got one guy with the cyclone missile launcher. I don't really rate flamers from terminators because terminators tend to come in from deep strike. I mean, I guess in ninth edition I'm trying them out of a land raider, but um, yeah, I don't. I don't think I care too much about the flamer. Uh, so this way, I've got two more guys with assaults. So we get three more guys with assaults and chain fists, and then the cyclone missile launcher at the moment is really costly. So I don't see it being used in 9th edition, but um, yeah, so I th maybe the thumbnail will be a couple of these guys, but uh, yeah, this guy here is definitely, he's definitely what I wanted, right? He's, um, he's super unique, um, and the, the Hurricane Bolt are from the Intercessors really, uh, I think rounds them out kind of nicely. I mean, there's a little bit, it doesn't, maybe the shoulder pad here, there's a tiny bit where it's like, it, it kind of doesn't look 100% right. But I think I'm gonna give him a gold helmet and then I think, I just think he'll stand out really cool. And maybe we'll try and put a small Blood Angels decal up in here, uh, transfer something on there. Cool. So yeah, thanks for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This was the Space Marine Heroes, and do you know what? Maybe we'll get some more of these. I got a lot of painting to do for 9th edition first, but uh, yeah, these were pretty fun, and uh, hopefully they perform well on the tabletop. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking or subscribing, and um, we'll see you in the next one. Until next time, peace.